Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about DB2 table operations. So this is the agenda. We will learn about data types. Then we will see how to create a table and then how to alter a table. Then how to drop or delete a table. So then we will do a hands on. So we will start with data types. So following are the data types which are used while creating the tables. So you can use numeric and here you can give like how many fields you want, what's the length. Then you can use date directly. Then numeric if, it, if you want a decimal then x will be normal one like before the decimal and y will be after the decimal. Then you can use time. Then we have character if you want all the alphabets if you want to declare name then you can use character. Then we have integer like if you want to use numbers uh, it takes 8 bytes. Then we have small integer it takes 4 bytes it is also for numbers. Then we have where care so if you want both the numbers as well as the characters. So this is the syntax of creating a table. Here you need to write create table, then you need to give the table name and here you need to give the column name like what column you want in your table followed by the data type and in database names in which database you want to create it. So you can use any of these data types depending on your requirement and here you need to give this is a user defined one you can define the column name by yourself then you give a valid data type then you need to give the database name. Now next is alter a table. Suppose you have created one table now you want to alter one column name or if you want to add one more column. So that can be done through column uh, alter table command. So you need to write alter table then you need to give the table name like you need to add one column. So you will need to write add column name and the data type. So what this will do is this will add a new column to the existing table. Then we have drop table. So if you want to delete a table or if you want to drop a table then you can use the drop table command. So simply you need to write drop table and you need to give the table name. Now let's see all these functions practically. We will start with db2 data types. I will show you all the data types in spoof itself. Give the member name here. D types. I have created one member D types. Ignore this error. Do a reset. These are the data types which are used in Spoofy while creating a table. So the first one is numeric. Here you can give the numeric values and you can give any value here in X. Suppose you want a five digit numeric character numeric then you need to give five numeric five. So it will be taking five bytes. Suppose if you want to give a decimal as well then you need to give numeric X comma Y. Here X is before the decimal and Y is after the decimal. Suppose if you want to give three digits before the decimal then mention X as three and two digits after the decimal then mention y as 2. Then we have date. So date takes 4 bytes not 10 this is a typo 4 bytes but maximum the fifth and 5 bytes if it is nullable and maximum there can be 10 characters inside a date the format will be Y Y Y Y dash mm dash dd. So this is the format of date and it take four bytes. Then we have time. Time take ten bytes. Sorry. Yes, it's ten bytes, not four bytes. And the format is Y Y Y and it takes up to 26 characters and it includes both date then month starting with year month date then R after this it's this then R then we have minutes then we have seconds then we have milliseconds so in total it 
there are 26 characters then we have integer integer takes 4 bytes and it can store values up to 4 characters then we have small int small int takes 2 bytes and it can store up to values of 4 characters 4 integers basically then we have where x here x you can give any values where x can take up to 4046 bytes and if you want a character in which you want a character as well as a numeric field then you need to mention where x so this is about data types now we'll create an alter one table so here first we'll start with the create command so we have seen the data types so in this first we'll be creating a table named temp123 and in this we'll be having two columns the first one is temp id that is of integer and the second one is temp name that is of character 10 bytes so i will uncomment this and we'll execute this i'm executing the create table command here you can see as uh, statement execution was successful sql code is 0 so we have created one table now we'll enter data in, in this so first we'll comment this one otherwise it will throw error like table name exist so we'll insert three rows in this to insert uh, data in any of the table you need to write insert into then you need to mention table name here then values and in the same order we, like you defined in the table the columns you need to mention the values here the like first is the id then second one is the name so we'll insert some data in temp123 table here you can see this was ignored started from here insert into table temp123 values 1 and tommy so here you can see number of rows affected is 1 statement execution was successful code is 0 so it means this row has been added then we have second insert here we are adding second value and then we have uh, again the SQL code is 0 and number of rows affected 1 as we have added one row now the last one is third row because this is the third insert query here it uh, we can see that SQL uh, execution was successful and SQL code is 0 all other lines were ignored because we have commented them out Now we'll comment them and then we'll do a select query. If you want to see all the records here which are present in temp123 just mention select star from temp123 and if you want to see a particular column then you can mention column nam name here instead of star. Go to home. Now we'll execute this one. Here you can see select star from temp 1 to 3, 1 Tommy, second Jenny, third is Steve. So these are the three records which are present in the table. I will comment this line. In the next statement, suppose if you want to select queries based on some certain conditions, then you need to mention select star from temp 1 to 3 where temp id is 1 like if you want to see how many records are present for temp id 1 then you, you can mention your conditions in the where clause so we'll execute this this will only throw one row so here you can see select star from temp 1 to 3 where temp id is equal to 1 and temp id is 1 temp name is tommy so only one record has been fetched now suppose if you want to update any record we use update command so the syntax is update then table name then you need to mention set temp name is equal to updated where temp id is equal to 1 so what it will do is it will go to the table temp 1 to 3 it will look for the temp id 1 and when it will find temp id 1 it will replace the temp name with updated like it will whatever you write here it will be updated so we'll execute and see the result So here you can see update this and the number of rows affected is 1 because one record was present with temp id 1 and statement execution was successful. 
now we'll see in the we'll do a select query and we'll see what is the result here So here you can see one and updated the temp name has been updated that's the reason like we have mentioned updated only so it is showing updated the next is delete suppose if you want to delete any particular record from a table then you need to mention the syntax as delete from table name here this is the table name where temp id is equal to 1 so it will delete the row where temp id is equal to 1 we'll execute this we'll see here you can see number of rows affected is 1 statement of execution was successful and uh, the command it execute is delete from temp 1 to 3 where temp id is equal to 1 now the next is select star from we'll see whether this row present it should throw an error because we have already deleted the row it should say SQL code is 100 so here you can see number of rows displayed is 100 and statement execution was successful but SQL code is 100 it means no row was found with ID as 1 Now next we have alter command suppose if you want to alter a table and if you want to add a at uh, structure level then you need to and if you want to suppose I have here I'm adding add temp student as integer so I'm adding the third column here so alter table then you need to mention table name and then you need to add whatever you, you want to change so we'll see here you can see statement execution was successful SQL code is 100 so now we'll do a select query because we have now it should have three columns here you can see temp stood the third column has been added because we have altered the table and temp1 was deleted because we deleted the record from this table now the last is drop table drop table command is used to drop the table structure as well as to delete the records which are present in the table 1 2 3 so it will delete the table structure as well as it will delete the entries present in the table temp 1 2 3 so you can see SQL execution is 0 table has been uh, uh, deleted and after that commit was performed if you do a select query at this point of time it you will see an error saying table does not exist so we'll check this so we'll do a select query here I have unchecked this select we'll be executing the select query on this one here you can see SQL code is 204 you cannot find temp123 is an undefined name because the table has been deleted So this is all about data types, create table, alter table and drop table. In the next video, we'll see unique key, primary key and nulls.